many jobs are there where you're asked to predict the future and literally you have to predict the future before it happens because all of the logistics involved you have to have all these people in place and it's all hinging on a weather forecast predicting the future is an impossible task to begin with but when it comes to dead-on weather predictions for balloon launches don day is the man however even for a highly experienced meteorologist like don an operation like Red Bull Stratus presents constant challenges. You can imagine the volume of atmosphere from the ground to 120,000 feet. That's a lot of space. And we have to keep track of the weather from the ground to that whole distance. So we're talking over 20 miles of atmosphere uh, that we need to keep track of. To guarantee the best possible weather conditions for a successful balloon launch, Don takes several different sources of information into account for his weather forecasts. You recognize certain weather patterns on these balloon launches that are favorable or unfavorable for balloon operations. And so you take that information and you mix it up with the computer modeling and the measurements of the atmosphere. To come. Then we, on top of that, we put the man part in it, and that's the experience. However, there is always an element of uncertainty that remains in this equation. When it comes to flying a balloon, especially very large balloons like we're doing here, uh, we're at the mercy of Mother Nature, and we have to be able to work with Mother Nature uh, to find the right conditions. For a successful launch, many factors have to line up just perfectly. This will be especially important as the program progresses and the balloons get larger to take Felix Baumgartner to greater heights. Wind is the number one weather element that can affect us. If the wind direction changes 20 degrees while that balloon is launched, it can cause tremendous amounts of stress on the balloon and, and cause it to rip. So we also have to be looking out for clouds. Uh, we cannot be flying through clouds. We don't want to pick up moisture flying through clouds. We, we can handle some cloudiness, but not a lot of it. And also it depends on time of year. There are certain times of year when the wind conditions on the ground and aloft are the best for this type of flight. As part of the flight test program, there have been several balloon launches conducted on Red Bull Stratus. For each launch, a flight window was set according to Don's weather forecast, during which time the takeoff had to be carried out. Felix Baumgartner's final jump is scheduled to take place now in October 2012. And then we're ready to go. And, uh... Felix, will, he'll be there and he'll be ready to go. And uh, we just, once we have the right weather conditions, look out, here we come.